Hello, everybody. Um, I just got home from what I think is the third or fourth week of what we call drop-by mode of operation at Street Youth Ministry. We have a home team who's working the phones and working electronic media and coming up with virtual ways of interacting with our clients online. And we have a drop-by team that uh, serves people through our gate, outdoors. Uh, we do hot meals, bags of food, clothing, and go outside and do guidance counseling. Um, it's hard work, it's anxious work, it's different work. Um, we're serving about the same number of people as before, maybe even a little bit more, to be honest with you. We're staying on target, we're staying focused. Um, but I wanted to tell you a story um, from today. Uh, Actually, two stories. First, I want to tell you about a young lady who is inspiring, and we may try to copy her idea um, in ministry, but she is talking with the home team, and she said, I have 22 hobbies. She's, a, she's um, you know, very orderly and maybe a little over the top on some things, um, but she said, I have 22 hobbies, and I'm focusing on one a day and doing at least... 15 minutes of it, maybe an hour of whatever my hobby is. And she said, the first 15 minutes kind of seems like homework, but after that, I really enjoy it. And so we may, we may copy her idea and try to issue a challenge every day to, on Facebook to everyone, clients, supporters, volunteers, donors, to, um, to do a particular type of activity and then take a picture of it and share it, whether you do it in virtual land or whether you do it on reality and take a picture we you know we don't care but anyway it's a really good idea we get our best ideas from clients and um, I know that she gets to share with our home team and it's reducing anxiety um, and we're offering her solutions for where to get help um, so and in return she's giving us a really good idea now that's the home team and a story of how they're making impact um, let me tell you about the drop by today a young man who we haven't seen in a little while um, came by and he was very agitated he is a drug user he would like to be sober but he's he's um, not always sober at this point and he was very irritated and very down and um, anyway we, we we served him hot food and then we gave him clothing and we he had lost his backpack so I found another bag for him of some sort and um, you know he was he was grateful but agitated and then he started talking about how he's so annoyed with the world that the you know the world is getting so dark and and um, you know he's just really down and I said you know all of that may be true but I need you to look at me and I need you to listen to me you're experiencing a bright point you know there are two people who are here to serve you today and we could be at home right and there are hundreds of people collecting the food that you're eating someone cooked it someone put the sandwich together someone baked the cookies and they're all different people and they all chose to do this and bring it to us so that you could get you know what you're getting and there are thousands of people who support us in prayer and donations and as volunteers and so so this is light this is a spot of brightness in your life and i want you to just take a minute and enjoy that and he came to tears and you know i i watched him cry and i said i'm really sorry but i guess i'm i'm not sorry that i made you cry and he said i'm it's because i am experiencing joy i don't experience joy very often and, um, you know, that's why we serve, and that's why it matters. And um, thank you for being a part of Street Youth Ministry. And we will continue to serve as the home team, and we will continue to serve as the drop-by team for as long as is required. Um, you know, we're counting the days down till the order is over. Um, we're, we're not blind. The order may be extended in Austin, um, and we will... We will endure and we will be here for our clients. Uh, thank you.